So I have to say, from what I've heard so far, it's been a pretty extraordinary morning, and I feel that continued energy at lunch now, and this can only mean that the afternoon we're just gonna pop the roof off this building. So uh, let's, keep it, let's keep it going, because it's been wonderful. Now comes the time in our program that we do some celebration. You know, we talk about building leadership skills, and then we talk about creating visibility to those with those leadership skills, and this is our opportunity right now to celebrate those who we know have those skills at many different levels, and that's what I love about this. Today we're going to recognize one of New Jersey's premier female leaders for her outstanding leadership in and across the state of New Jersey, and two rising stars whose pathways thus far, when you hear about them, absolutely set the stage for them to be tomorrow's leaders. Now today we're very fortunate because we have the very first recipient of our Rising Star Award here in the room today. Rachel, where are you? Give a wave. Rachel is here. There she is. Rachel is right here. And I want to take a moment just to tell you about Rachel's story because it's really cool. Uh, this first program we did was four years ago and Rachel came to the program and she was just in college and she came all by herself. She took the day from school. She heard about this. She came. She made herself known to us and she said, I'm here today because I'm interested in supply chain management and I see that the head of supply chain management for J&J &J is one of your speakers today. And I really, really want to meet her. Can we make that happen? Well, of course we made that happen. They had a great discussion after that. I believe there was an internship that came from that, yes. And here we are years later now, Rachel, is an associate, um, associate transportation analyst and planner with Church and Dwight. You go, girl. <laughs> Our Rising Star Award identifies future business leaders who are currently completing their undergraduate education. So these are women who are already distinguishing themselves at a very young age. Now, for those of you who were here last year, you will recall that we honored Michelle Chaloka, and she received the award last year. Michelle was a fighter who overcame many tough obstacles to gain her education. You might remember her story if you were here last year. And unfortunately, Michelle passed away this year. And we were really sad to hear that. So I'd just like to take a moment to reflect. And if we can have just a moment of silence in honor of Michelle. Thank you for that. Michelle, thank you for everything you did for us in your short time here on in New Jersey and, and on our planet. So the two women chosen to receive our Rising Star Award this year have demonstrated leadership, a passion for their anticipated field, and a commitment to volunteering in their communities, their personal community and their school community. I'm gonna introduce them to you now. First, we have Amanda Mayer. Amanda is a marketing major at Rutgers University, New Brunswick, who aspires to work in the cosmetics industry after she graduates in 2019. I'm thinking she wants to meet Bobby Brown this afternoon. <laughs> Amanda's distinguished herself as a leader at Rutgers, where she's co-founder and president of Rutgers Care, community service director of Beta Gamma Sigma, the Honor Society, and marketing director of Women Build. You get a sense here, right? There's this consistent tone. As an employee of Rutgers Student Affairs, she's grown engagement on the Rutgers Student Food Pantry social media accounts by 311%. She knows how to market for sure. And continues to spread awareness through food drives with the nonprofit Foodstock New Jersey. It is my pleasure to present the NJBIA Rising Star Award to Rutgers University student, Amanda Mayer. I gotta bring this down a little bit, a little short. <laughs> I just wanted to thank everyone here at the NJBIA today, especially Michelle and Kim who really helped me organize this. I also wanted to thank everyone at Rutgers Business School for nominating me and for supporting me through all my endeavors. And of course my parents and a lot of key mentors that I've had along the way. Um, I feel really empowered today just meeting a bunch of you, the great speakers we had this morning. And I'm really excited to announce that I'll be starting my career at L'Oreal when I graduate. I'm tall, so now I have to move it up. <laughs> Our second Rising Star Award goes to Brianne Skiba. Brianne recently graduated cum laude from Ocean County Community College and just started Stockton University's accelerated degree program to earn a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brianne has part-time jobs as a hearing screener for newborns and nurses aide at Community Medical Center in Toms River is what inspired her to pursue a career in nursing as a labor and delivery nurse. 
As the first woman in her family to attend college, Brienne is extremely motivated to succeed, completing more than 100 hours of leadership training and service. In recognition of her courage, leadership, and commitment to helping others, I am so pleased to present the Rising Star Award to Brienne Skiba. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for awarding me with this. This came out of surprise. I didn't know I was nominated, and <laughs> but I am so honored. I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm so thankful to Michelle and Kim and everyone in part of the NJBIA for not only choosing me, but giving me this chance to be here, meet you wonderful, powerful women. You are so inspiring to me. So thank you very much for being here, and thank you for allowing me to be here. So thank you. Now our next award is a very special one. This is the NJBIA Karen Franzini Leadership Award, which honors the legacy of a woman who's made a last, every time I see this, I always think I'm never gonna get choked up, but every time I do, made a lasting impact on business leaders in New Jersey, especially women business leaders. Karen was a former longtime chief executive at the State Economic Development Authority, where she worked tirelessly, tirelessly, to promote entrepreneurial development and economic growth. After her 18-year tenure at EDA, she joined NJBIA's Board of Trustees, which she served on until her very untimely death in January of 2017. We miss Karen deeply. In searching for a woman who we can honor in the spirit of Karen Franzini, no easy task, we look for someone who exemplifies the role model that Karen was. A true collaborator, a deal maker like no other. Someone who garners respect because of how she carries herself and how she interacts with all of those around her. A selfless leader who puts her community, her organization, and her state before herself. This year, it was easy because this honoree is all of that and much more. I'm thrilled to announce that the recipient of the NJBIA Karen Franzini Leadership Award is Linda Bowden. I have much more to say. <laughs> Let me tell you a little about Linda. She's an iconic figure in the business and banking communities, just as Karen was, and her leadership makes an impact on New Jersey every day. Drawing on more than 25 years' experience in wealth management, Linda has made her mark in the banking industry. As regional, vi regional president of PNC Bank, New Jersey, she currently provides executive leadership and supports business development initiatives all across the organization. She's been named among the 25 women to watch by U.S. Banker Magazine and recognized as one of the best 50 women in business here in New Jersey and on the Power 100 list issued by NJ Biz. Active in a wide range of community programs, because it doesn't just stop with her work at PNC. This woman is incredible in her community. She serves on the board of the Drum Thwacket Foundation, as well as the executive committees of the New Jersey State Chamber of Commerce, the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra, and Choose New Jersey. In addition, she's a member of the Board of Trustees of the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, Fairleigh Dickin University, and the Board of Governors of Seton Hall Hackensack Meridian School of Medicine. I have the opportunity to see Linda in action, serving with her on the Choose New Jersey board. I'm proud to say that over the years and through our professional relationship, we've also forged a strong bond of friendship and camaraderie. It is my great, great pleasure to present the Karen Franzini Leadership Award to Linda Bowden. <laughs> you know, I could identify with Michelle when she got a little choked up. I was preparing my remarks and got choked up. So forgive me if that does happen. I'm going to try not to let it happen. But um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, obviously, it is a great pleasure to be here. And I want to say that also on behalf of my many great PNC colleagues who are in the room. Thank you for being here. 
Obviously, this is an enormous, enormous honor, the Karen Francini Leadership Award. And I did have the privilege of knowing Karen, and she was incredible. And I'm sad to think that so many of you in the room did not have that same opportunity, because she left us far, far too soon. I do want to tell you a little bit about her, though. Uh, very simply, she was brave, and I know those of you who know her are going to, I will see some heads nodding. She was brave and courageous, very smart, very caring. As brave and tough as she could be, she was never fearful about letting her vulnerable side show. And she was a visionary here in the state. And that is why I am so happy that this award exists, because you know what they say, no one ever dies if they're not forgotten. And so we will never forget Karen. Thanks to you, Michelle. So I just have a couple of very short minutes here. And what I'd like to do is address a couple of very specific groups in the audience. So number one, Michelle and our friends at the uh, New Jersey Business and Industry Association, thank you for your leadership day in and day out. Karen Franzini cared deeply about this state and the economic vitality here. And you all are fighting the good fight to ensure that this is an attractive state for business and residents. So thank you, Michelle, for your leadership there. Uh, uh, the second group I would like to say are my friends at PNC. I learn from you day in and day out. The kindness and respect you show for each other is exactly the way Karen behaved towards her colleagues. So thank you for being my role models. Thank you for being here. <laughs> to the women of the audience, our sisters, you are here because you care about business, you care about New Jersey, you care about your careers. And I can tell you, Karen and I started in business when we were the, often the only women in the room. And so if Karen were standing up here, what she would say is, keep being yourself and you will prevail. So that is to my sisters in the audience. To the men in the room, our brothers, I know there aren't that many of you, but we really appreciate your being here. We appreciate your support. If Karen were here, she would tell you diversity does matter. And so your being here means a tremendous amount to us. In fact, let's hear it for the guys in the room. And to our rising stars, Amanda and Brianne, you, seeing those fresh young faces, you are our future. And I wish you had known Karen because I think she could have been a role model for you as well. And what she would say if she were here is, stay with us in New Jersey, help to continue, help us to continue to make the future of this state bright. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>